Imagine you're working on a project that involves several teams, each with its own Google group. You can use Google Groups to share project updates, documents, or action items with all relevant teams simultaneously just by sending a single email. Collaborative Inbox in Google Groups, a complete walkthrough. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Allie, and today we're taking a deep dive into the world of Collaborative Inbox in Google Groups. But before we begin, if you haven't seen our previous video on setting up a Collaborative Inbox in Google Workspace, I highly recommend checking it out. The link is right in the description box below. A Collaborative Inbox in Google Groups is a fantastic tool for team management, allowing you to track, assign, and manage tasks effectively. It's like having a shared email space for your team, but how can you best use this feature? Let's discuss. First, let's weigh the pros and cons of a collaborative inbox. One, to start off, transparency and accountability are huge advantages when it comes to Google Groups. For example, if you're running a customer support team, everyone can see who is responsible for responding to each customer inquiry. It's clear who dropped the ball if a customer's email goes unanswered, too. But on the flip side, it can become overwhelming. If your team is receiving hundreds of emails a day, the collaborative inbox can quickly become cluttered. This is where using a tool like Hiver, which provides a shared inbox within Gmail, can be a game changer. It offers more advanced features for managing high email volumes. Check out www.hiverhq.com for more details. Real-time tracking of progress. If you have a project management team, they can keep an eye on completed tasks in Google Groups and ensure everything is running smoothly. Four, but again, lack of advanced filtering or tagging is something that Google Groups can't provide. Let's say you're handling sales inquiries. Without advanced filtering, it can be hard to prioritize high value leads. Again, this is where an additional tool like Hiver can be helpful as it has more robust email management features. With the pros and cons out of the way, let's move on to some actionable tips complete with real world examples to help you use your collaborative inbox to its fullest. One, encourage your team members to use the assign and assign to me features. Let's say you're running a marketing team and you get an email about a potential partnership opportunity. You can assign that email to your partnership manager to ensure it's handled properly. Two, promote regular updates of the task status. If you're a project manager, knowing that your graphic designer has finished the banner for the next campaign and marked it as complete can help you keep the project on track. Three, use the send email as the group feature. This can be particularly useful if you're a customer support team and want the response to come from support team rather than an individual. Four, utilize the mark as complete feature. If you're a customer service manager, once a complaint has been resolved, marking it as complete will declutter your inbox and make tracking unresolved issues easier. There you have it, a complete walkthrough of using a collaborative inbox in Google Groups, complete with real world examples. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share it with your team. If you have any questions or experiences you'd like to share, drop a comment below. We also recommend that you check out our guide on shared inboxes using the link in the description below. It explains the key functionalities of shared inboxes and how it helps teams collaborate on emails effectively. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful tutorials and tech tips. This is Ali signing off. Stay organized and see you in the next video.